The device featured in this video was sent directly to me by the company for the purposes of this review. Nobody has seen this video before it's been posted to YouTube, nobody coached me on what to say. All opinions and thoughts expressed are my own because I just say whatever falls out of my mouth. What's going on guys? Welcome to Rhino Review Stuff. I'm Rhino and I review stuff. The stuff I've got to review today is a pretty sweet MP3 player from Meechin. It does say Hi-Fi on the box. Let's see if that's true. So it does come in a pretty nondescript box. It does say Hi-Fi Audio down here in the corner, and there's really not much else going on with the packaging. It is very sturdy, however, and I am having trouble sliding it apart. Oh. <laughs> All right, first thing out of the box, we do have the user manual, and uh, yeah, it comes in several different languages. You've got the actual MP3 player, which does take up the entire weight of this box. And for accessories, we've got a micro USB charging cable, and that's all she wrote. This is the Meechin M30 MP3 player. Now, it doesn't just play MP3s, it plays a plethora of different audio types, and I'll pop that up onto the screen now. So you can see there's like a ton of different things that you can play, a bunch of different formats. It's really very impressive. Let's take a look at the actual device. Here on the side, we do have a scroll wheel. It is not one that you would rub along the top, for instance, like an iPod or something. However, it does have a clicky feel when you rub along the side. It is serrated there. I'll show you that in a moment. Also on the front, we've got our back, we've got forward, we've got menu, we've got the back button to navigate the menus, and we've got our play button. Of course, we do have our two inch screen there. The resolution is, let me take a peek real quick, 320 by 240. This is not a touch screen. It's just a regular old looking at it screen. On the bottom of the device, we've got our headphone out and our line out. On the left hand side, we got nothing. On the top, we've got our power button, and on the right here, we've got our volume rocker reset button. We've got our SD card slot, TF card, whatever you want to call it. And we've got our micro SD port, which is for charging and data transfer. And I already have this set up to play at shuffling, and that's just kind of how I like it. These files do not have um, ID3 tags in them. If you did have ID3 tags, it would be able to sort them according to artists, albums, and genre. Very, very loud. Oh my gosh. It's crazy good. The stereo is amazing, like little beats coming in both sides here. Very nice. So listen into music all on its own with your headphones, uh, 10 is kind of the sweet spot because anything louder than that is just going to burst your eardrums. The default on here was set at 50. So even though the internals here are pretty impressive, there is no Bluetooth compatibility here. Uh, you're going to need yourself an auxiliary cable. And yes, I just went out to my car and got this out. I have looked all over my house here trying to find some stereo that actually has an auxiliary input. Um, they're all at work, but lo and behold, I do have one here on my desk. My computer speakers actually have auxiliary input, so let's test out exactly how it sounds. Plugging this in right now to my line out. Sounds really spectacular for me. I know you're not getting the best audio here, but I am getting some pretty good audio. Let's switch songs. Maybe we'll find something a little heavier. Ooh. 
That's some good bass. I'm gonna turn my bass down a little. I'm gonna turn it up. Equalizer makes a big difference. <laughs> so you might have noticed there's not a lot more going on with this. This thing is just a music device. You're not going to be watching videos. You're not going to be looking at photographs. You're not going to be taking pictures, of course, because it doesn't have a camera. This thing is a straight up music player and it's got some pretty darn good internals. They've been time tested. It's got the Wisdom WN8965 for the DAC. That's been around for about seven or eight years now, and it's actually very, very good. There are lots of other MP3 players that use that exact same DAC. There is no problem with that DAC. I love it. As for the amplifier, it is from Texas Instruments. It's specifically, let me look on my screen here, the TPA6530. Now, it's not as powerful as some of the other amps and the more expensive devices. However, this is a budget device. This is an MP3 player that you're going to pick up for under $100. This thing is not going to have the most expensive, fanciest amplifier in it. However, it's more than enough to use with my ATX M40s over here. It's more than powerful enough to use in my car, and I get amazing sound out of it. It's got a built-in equalizer. Let's take a look at that now. So you can adjust all of the bands, you can do whatever you want, and you can get just the right sound for you. It works flawlessly. The DAC in here is really, really awesome. If you notice on the interface, it's very reminiscent of other MP3 players that just a few years ago were well over $100. It does share an interface, and it shares almost all of the internals with the Nintaus X10, which I believe was released in 2017, maybe 2016. So it's not the newest tech, however, Technology like this hasn't evolved so much that makes this any less of a player. This thing is pretty sweet. I absolutely love it. I have had no issues with it. Every file I have thrown at it has worked just fine. My Offspring albums that I ripped into flack play in perfectly. All of my MP3 files, of course, sound exceptional, so much better than any other device, because this has a really good DAC built in. It's got that equalizer so I can adjust all of my settings exactly the way I want it, and I have had no issues with it. Using this thing in the car, it sounds fantastic. I am in love. This right here for under a hundred bucks is one of the best MP3 players you can get. The internals have been around for a while. They are tested, they are tried, they are true. And uh, yeah, I can attest to it. This is my second MP3 player with the exact same internals. And um, yeah, it just does a great job. This device right here, it's smaller. It's got a little bit easier interface to navigate because this click wheel on the side makes it so much easier than having a bunch of buttons here on the front. Everything on here is made out of metal. That means it's nicer quality, and this thing is under a hundred bucks. I mean, you really can't go wrong. I definitely recommend the Meechan M30 here. Totally worth it for about 85 bucks, and I think that's about what you can pick it up on Amazon for right now. Now, one more thing before I wrap this up, um, I want to talk about the battery. It does have a 1500 milliamp battery in it. That does not seem very large. However, you got to remember, you don't have an internal speaker here, so you're not going to be playing any music out loud. You're going to be using the auxiliary port or the line out, whatever. Also, the touch screen, there is no touch screen, so you're not going to be messing around with the screen a lot. The screen's going to be going off. There's no apps to mess around with. You're not going to be watching videos on here. The battery on here, small as it may be, is actually pretty stinking huge for a device like this. This is going to be an MP3 player that's going to last you for a very long time out in your car or even around the house. So you've heard all the good, let's talk about some of the bad. Let's talk about that scroll wheel, for instance. Um, it's kind of useless. It's neat. Don't get me wrong. I do like it, and I do use it, uh, especially when I'm messing with the volume, because it's easier to remember 
or scroll it up for volume up and scroll it down for volume down, rather than trying to fiddle around with the buttons on the side when you're not actually looking at the device. However, that brings it up. Um, the buttons on the device do everything that clicky wheel does. In fact, in order to utilize that clicky wheel, you also have to use the buttons. So why not use the buttons in the first place? It's an aesthetic thing, I understand. Um, on some devices that use that exact same wheel, they have like an, a record printed on there, something like that. You know, give a little bit of an aesthetic appeal. However, on this one, it's just a wheel and it's not that useful. Other things I'm not a big fan of, the interface. This interface has not been updated in a very long time. I would like to see some different themes, some different color sets, something to make this really pop. Because as I mentioned before, this is pretty much a direct descendant of another MP3 player from several years back with even the same software installed. So I'd like to see a little bit of an update on that. Lineout works awesome. I got no complaints on that. However, I wish it wouldn't default to 50. I know there is a setting that I can adjust and I've already done so. So I've got mine already set up to be volume 10 for line out instead of volume 50 for line out because I would totally blow the speakers on my car if I started it up at 50 for the volume. Wowzers. Uh, you guys saw there when I had my headphones on, it nearly blew me out of my chair. Very, very loud. The output on this is really exceptional. And I guess, honestly, if I had to pick something else, I would say the buttons might be a little bit too responsive. Uh, that does go along with the system just being a very fast device. It does take a little while when you're updating the playlist, you know, scanning for new songs and such. But the interface itself is very, very snappy. And things like accidentally pressing the power button, I've sometimes turned it off on complete accident when I just accidentally rubbed against it. On the volume, I've kind of gone from 0 to 60 in a heartbeat because it's like, boom, you're pushing it and it's doing it. So that's not really a negative so much as a little nitpick I've got. As always, link's going to be down in the description. Like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I will see you all later. Bye.